I was reading an article about LSU's postseason chances. Scott Rabelais with our partners at The Advocate checked 16 national experts, all of whom had made bowl projections. 16 experts, 11 say LSU is headed to the Peach Bowl in Atlanta, five say they'll play in the Fiesta Bowl in Arizona. Both are great bowl games. Their most common opponent in those 16 projections, six times it's West Virginia, five times Central Florida. But what this news means is zero of those national experts think LSU will play in the Sugar Bowl. And honestly, I think that's wrong. First of all, the Peach and the Fiesta are great bowl games that'd be a nice reward for a terrific season. But LSU's goal should be to play in the Sugar Bowl. It's the premier SEC bowl game. Now, in theory, the Sugar Bowl gets the SEC champion unless the SEC champion is in the college football playoff, which obviously it will be. So that means the Sugar Bowl gets an SEC replacement school and technically Technically, the Sugar Bowl doesn't choose the one they get. The SEC assigns a replacement. Now, according to the SEC, they will take the highest ranked replacement unless extraordinary circumstances exist, like one of the teams has played in the Sugar Bowl for a few years in a row. Now, those extraordinary circumstances do not exist. So, if three things happen, I think LSU will finish the season ranked higher than Georgia in the college football playoff poll and therefore go to the Sugar Bowl. Number one, LSU has to beat Rice. The Tigers just happen to be 43-point favorites. Two, LSU has to beat Texas A&M. That one's a little dicier. The Tigers are on the road, but LSU has beaten A&M the last seven times they've played. And three, Alabama has to beat Georgia in the SEC championship game by at least 10, and I think they will. If those three things happen, I think LSU leaps over Georgia and gets the Sugar Bowl invitation. The wild card is if Georgia keeps the SEC championship game close, but again, I don't think that'll happen. I think the college football playoff committee is going to be deciding which team to put higher, a two-loss LSU team or a two-loss Georgia team. Now, in my opinion, the committee has done a solid job this season. Right now, they have LSU three spots higher in their poll than the Associated Press, and I think they're right to do that. And they'll know the Sugar Bowl is hanging in the balance of that decision. I think they put LSU higher than Georgia for one reason, and it's this. LSU beat Georgia by 20. If they both finish with two losses, that has to be the tiebreaker. I think it's obvious, and I think the college football playoff committee will find that obvious too. So I think there is a good chance all 16 of those national experts are wrong. We're back with more in a minute.